To start sound design, your first step is to clean up the dialogue. So as you can see here, I have some dialogue from three different camera tracks and they are all different. You can see that the wavelengths are different. So first thing you wanna do is go ahead and solo all of your existing audio that came from your camera. And you wanna click on the audio track. And if you listen to it, you can hear like a hissing sound. I'm TJ. I'm Ian. I'm Jed. I'm Yasmin. And I'm Chris. We will be... So we want to get rid of that hissing sound because we want clear dialogue. You can, if you like that hissing sound, like you want to add room tone to your film, that's okay. But you want to add that later. For now, you want to have clear dialogue. You can add the room tone as a separate audio sound. So you want to go over to Windows, Workspaces, Audio. And this is what it would look like. If yours looks different, go to Window Workspaces, Reset to Saved Layouts, and then go to the Audio Workspace. So I'm going to go ahead and click the dialog track that has all of the hissing audio, and I'm going to click here, Dialog. And now I want to come over here to Repair. If your repair isn't open, just click on the word Repair, and then I'm going to click Reduce Noise. And this is reducing it by five points. So now you can listen to it. I'm TJ. I'm Ian. I'm Jed. I'm Yasmin. And I'm Chris. So there's still a little bit of a hiss, but it's not that bad. I'm going to go ahead and increase that. And you can increase it up to all the way to 10. If you have a really windy day, you might need to do that. So now let's listen to it. I'm Yasmin. And I'm Chris. We will be... So I have clear audio. So that is step one. <laughs> Step two, you want to come in here and make sure your audio is hitting at negative three. TJ. I'm Ian. I'm Jed. Right now it's hitting around negative seven. And some voices are softer than others. <laughs> so to raise the audio, you can do two things. Your audio tracks are probably looking like this. So you want to come over here beside the microphone in this gray area. Just double click. Your audio track will open larger. Click the white line and just push it up. So now you can see it pushed it up. Morning sense. I'm TJ. I'm Ian. And you want to try to avoid the red because that means it's clipping and it's way too loud and you basically distorted the audio to the point where it can't be saved. Morning sense. I'm TJ. I'm Ian. Most of it hits around negative three right now, so that's good. I'm Jed. I'm Yasmin. And I'm Chris. You can notice that Chris, he, his voice seems to be softer. And I'm Chris. Or he's further away from the microphone. And I'm Chris. So what we're going to do right now is come in here and just cut the audio track. Make sure if you, I'm going to undo that. If you come over here and cut it, if you have this, if it's linked I'm, and I come over here and cut it, you can see it cut my video too and we don't want that. So I'm going to command Z to undo. And I'm going to come in here and unlink my sections. And now I'm going to come here and cut out just the audio for Chris. So there you can see I sliced it on both sides. And now I'm going to raise the volume for Chris. And last thing I'm going to do is between the two clips, I want to add an audio transition because otherwise you're going to hear the audio volume change. So right click, apply default transition. And now if I click on this orange and I go to the edge of it, I can make it as small as possible. Again, right click, apply default transition, make it smaller. So now let's listen to it. Jed. I'm Yasmin. And I'm Chris. So it's a little bit too loud, so I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. And I'm Chris. So there you go. So that's one way to change the volume is moving this white line. Another way is over here. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more for Chris. So point two I added. And I'm Chris. That sounds a lot better. So that's what you can do. If, for example, you want to cut out a word or you have like a loud sound, like someone banged something or someone else spoke that was in the room that isn't part of your dialogue and you want to cut out just one word. We will be your anchor. So I'm going to cut out we. So what you want to do is grab your anchor or your razor tool. Let's just cut out between the edges of we. I'm going to come in here and just click on that clip and again you can zoom in which I'm going to do and I'm going to go ahead and click delete. Next I'm going to come over here command C to copy that audio track here it's just silent. 
but there's a little bit of sound. So I'm going to come in here and just paste it somewhere else. And then I'm going to come here and drag it underneath. What you want to do now at the edge of the clip, apply to right click, apply default transition. Let's make that small. Other side, apply default transition. Let's make that small. And then at the edge of both of these clips, right click, apply default transition. Because you never want the sound just to end without a transition because it's going to have a clicking sound once you export it. Be your anchors for the day. So you can see there, it cut out the word. Be your anchors for the day. So that's kind of what you want to do because there's still, I mean, even where it says there looks like there's no sound, you can see that there is. And that's like your natural room tone. So you want to make sure that there aren't any areas that have no audio is going to be very obvious. Okay, so, and then over here, this, the red or the yellow S, when you click the S, that solo is a track, so only the audio for that track is playing, and then mute is, that track is muted. So that's a quick audio tutorial, basic sound design, and then, you want to do this with all of your audio. Again, make sure all of your audio clips have audio transitions at the beginning and the end of every segment, including these tiny little ones. I have it here too. It's hard to see, but it's there. So make sure you have it everywhere so it doesn't clip. And then once you finish going through all of your existing audio, then you start adding layers of ambient sound, sound effects, stuff like that. You want to build the environment. You want to build the environment. Remember, you're like a sound architect at this point. And if you need more audio tracks, all you do is just drop the audio, the track down below, click and drag, and there you go. Well, it's not working. There you go. And it just created a new audio track down there. So that's how you add more audio tracks. And remember, everything under the line is audio. Everything above the line is video. And if you have like several empty tracks that are in your way, just right click over anywhere in this area, delete tracks, and then select delete video and audio, all empty tracks. Okay, and there you go. Zoom in and out is here. If you suddenly are missing some audio, you can just scroll up and down inside of these tracks. And that's it.